All right, Gino, on today's Devoted to Mentoring episode, tell us why, give us the why we need to get a mentor. Because one good mentor could be more informative than a college education and more valuable than a decade's worth of income. Case in point, I'm a DTM now, Distinguished Toastmaster, which took me 39 months to complete. I was at South Dade and a young lady tell me, hey Gino, can you help me with this getting my DTM thing? Sure, what's up, what do you need? Well, I'm, I'm graduating with my master's, I'm starting an actuarial company and I wanna get this done as soon as I can. So I showed her the ropes, I told her what the requirements were and set some goals with her and she did it in 29 months. So you get the idea, a mentor can be a shortcut. It can lead to a shorter path through whatever you're trying to achieve. Yeah, I think, think for me the same thing. I have a lot of my students that, that come to me and they, they ask me, Brent, how do I start a company? How do I become a general contractor? How do I, like, never wrote a check before. Never opened a bank account, never op started a company, never got insurance, don't know who the people, the quote unquote, what we call trusted advisors are of who we're, we're gonna go see. So I have all those trusted advisors of all people that have been in my corner for a long time that have helped me out with my company and, and my success. So I, I send them, so I'm, I'm mentoring, but I have all these, I can't do it all myself. I have to have other people that, that help me as well. And so I put them in touch with those people. I make what I, I call the, you know, the quick connection, but it's nothing, I'm not selling anything. I'm not trying to get anything out of it. I'm taking all of the experience that I had and I'm showing the ropes to those other people. And I've done it with colleagues of mine that call me up and say, Brent, I, I need to know how to run payroll. <laughs> Never done payroll before. How do I get workers' comp insurance? So there's a lot of things that, that you, can, you can mentor your fellow colleagues on. I mean, you talked about Toastmasters. I did mine in, in what? right at 36 months, 34 months or something like that. And how long did it take you to do your second one? The second one was about five years. <laughs> so you're taking longer now. Took longer. You, Nobody, you know the shortcut. <laughs> Nobody showed time. me the way. <laughs> now you, the funny thing was about the DTM is you showed me the way. You put me in, in touch with all the contacts to do the, the district leadership position, the youth leadership program, the start a new club, and it was, and when you get two mentors working together, it's like, it's pretty powerful. It's like, nirvana. We, we start, <laughs> like our club that we have at Doral Toastmasters, we have like, we're mentoring like 20 people at one time. We don't even know we're doing it. We're right. just doing it naturally. Just by showing up. I always say that the difference between having a good mentor and nobody is the same thing as the difference between a travel agent and a tour guide. A travel agent just gets you the ticket and says, give me the money. The tour guide says, hey, wait a minute, come with me. You're going on this flight. You're staying at this hotel. You're going to eat at this restaurant. Oh, by the way, stay away from that neighborhood over there. Yeah, don't go to this restaurant. Yeah, don't go here. Don't go there. Like, I want to go where the locals are going. <laughs> exactly. I always ask the locals, too, like breakfast places. I love mom and pop breakfast places. And I always ask the local people. I'm not going to eat at the hotel's breakfast place, a bunch of fast food. I want the place that has that short order chef that cooks you actually a breakfast and you can see them doing it. I really get a lot of pleasure out of that. The other thing I've mentored is, I, I started mentoring my students in, in, in my classes. I, mean, I, I was sitting in their seat before, so I know what it takes to get that degree that they're getting, whether it's a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, because I, I teach both classes of students. So and I've, you have I've, both. Yeah, I've done both and they're trying to get both and they'll ask me all the time, oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? What do I do here? Well, we've got a couple of students that are working in construction right now that are struggling to finish their college degrees because they, they've had a taste of that work 
and all the responsibilities that come along with work and they haven't finished their college degrees and I'm challenging them to do that. Yeah, and then they get spoiled by the money. They get spoiled by the money and then, you know, they start families and so it, it they start questioning why they need to go yeah, to school. Yeah, they and question oh, school. Oh, why do I need to go to school? There's a lot of licenses and certifications out there that you cannot get anymore. Without